Good morning, folks. This is Nick from Mountain Man Armory, also the Hungry Handgunner, uh, joining you this morning. This morning, we're going to talk about body armor, a uh, few misconceptions, reasons you might want it, and how we can help you get squared away here at Mountain Man Armory. So body armor is nothing new. Body armor has been around a long time. About the time that humans started figuring out how to do damage to each other way back with rocks and spears and swords and things like that, um, we started trying to figure out how to protect ourselves. It's just a prudent decision. So as weapons and science and things have progressed, uh, so too has our means of protecting ourselves. So when I say body armor, there's normally two categories that people are going to think of. It's going to be soft body armor or hard body armor. Um, each have their strengths and weaknesses. Soft body armor, fantastic in terms of concealability, portability, you know, comfort, it's light, it's flexible for the most part. Um, it's typically only rated for pistol threats. Now there's a few exceptions, I'm not going to get into those today, but for the most part, soft body armor, pistol threats, not going to stop rifle, and that soft armor is still going to deform when the round hits, uh, which can do some things on the other side may not get punctured, but you could still have a lot of trauma resulting from the impact of the round. Hard body armor is more what we're going to be talking about today. Um, just to give you an idea, here's my personal setup. So I have uh, level four plates front and back. It's rated for rifle rounds. And then one of the things I get asked quite a bit is, can you run a plate carrier with no plates? Well, sure you can. Um, it's a great place to store things you might need, extra magazines, a knife, um, I've got a trauma kit on here. So yeah, you can absolutely do that. However, primarily designed to carry plates, hence the name plate carrier. So we have a few options here. Um, the color is gonna be mostly preference. I went with multicam just because I like multicam, but we've got black, we've got brown. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we have. Uh, very cool there and do not, do not forget to put a trauma kit on your armor. I say that about the trauma kit because just like this is intended to prevent harm to your person, um, if you're in the business of learning how to defend yourself and potentially inflict harm, you've got to realize that even the good guys get hurt sometimes and plugging holes is equally as important as learning how to put them in things. So there is that. We do carry trauma supplies here. We can help you get squared away there. Um, absolutely recommend taking a stop the bleed class if you haven't already. We could do a whole video on medical. We're not going to do that today. But let me show you some of what we have. So here we have a variety of plate carriers. Uh, we do have the Coyote Gray, we've got black, we've got green. Uh, we've got lightweight plate carriers. You can see the difference there between the two. This is gonna be a little bit lighter. It's got built-in mag pouches. This one's laser cut. Uh, we've got more traditional Molly style down here. Literally, there are a lot of options to best suit you, your build, your priorities. You want a high speed, low drag, have something in the truck to throw in there real quick, or are you looking towards the end of the world type, whatever. Uh, we do have a variety of pouch pouches and accessories and bump helmets. We can get in ballistic rated helmets as well. Definitely come talk to the owner if you want to get into the ballistic helmet side of things and night vision and thermal. That's more his bailiwick there. We also are a Spartan armor dealer. Uh, we've got some steel plates in stock now. We can get the ceramic in. We're gonna go back over to the bench. I'm gonna kinda go over steel and ceramic and why you might pick one or the other. So when you get into the different types of armor, the ceramic versus steel plates, there's also something called HDPE, high density polyethylene. It's plastic, but it's a very dense molecular makeup. Again, it's all a matter of compromise. So with steel, you're getting a very affordable plate, um, but it does have its downside. It's very heavy, and if you've ever shot steel targets, you know when a round impacts uh, steel, fragments tend to go. We call that spalling. Um, a lot of your steel plates come with an anti-spall coating, which is good for a you know, few rounds. Um, it's not going to hold up indefinitely. As those rounds go in, eventually the spalling will delaminate that anti-spall coating off the steel plate which can lead to its own problems. Those small fragments can have all sorts of varying levels of velocity coming off and can hit your arms, your neck, and your legs. 
Uh, so there are some people that say absolutely not, never steal. There's some people that weigh the likelihood of ever even A, needing the body armor, B, taking rounds, and you, know, you go from there. With ceramic, you end up with a lighter plate and a plate where those ceramic pieces uh, tend to break up and absorb the energy of that round hitting. You don't get a lot of spall. Now the downside to that is, uh, in terms of multi-hit rating, the ceramic in the same spot, you know, it's not going to be able to take the same number of rounds that the steel can. So again, it's all a, a trade-off. The ceramic is notably lighter, which brings me to my next point. If you get something like this, simply having it, throwing it in the truck or the trunk of your car or the closet, um, that's not enough. Everything changes when you go to your body armor, to your gear. Uh, much like if you get a new holster, if you're not practicing coming out of that holster, reholstering, things like that, um, you're not going to get a familiarization with that gear and you're really doing yourself a disservice. So it's important to train in this stuff. Uh, this isn't a good luck charm. This is gear. This is something that you need to know how you're going to react. Like I said, everything's different. You're strapping on uh, a lot of weight and that changes the way you move. It changes the way you shoot. It changes where your gear's at. Get familiarized where your mags are, where your mag pouches are, and things like that. Um, last Sunday every month, you know, you've seen some of the videos here on the channel. We get together and we train in this stuff uh, for that purpose. So my last point today is going to be why why would somebody want body armor? Why would somebody spend that kind of money um, on gear? You know, is the world really that bad? I guess it depends on your worldview, right? If you're already in the mindset that uh, well things you know a little shaky, things could get a lot worse. Uh, it's a worthwhile investment. It's better to have something like this now than. Um, realize you need it and then it's hard to get it type thing. If we've learned anything over the last couple years, we've seen that with guns and ammo and whatnot. So being prepared definitely has its merits. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to convince you here on video uh, whether you should or shouldn't get some of this. I think it's a smart decision. Um, most of my friends do as well. So it's, I've got a little bit of bias coming into this, but if you want to have that discussion, we can absolutely go over it, walk you through it here in the shop, um, help you get set up and all that good stuff. So there is that guys, just make sure, please, if you get this gear, you train in it, even if it's going for a walk, even if you, know, you can't necessarily go and do some live fire or whatever, train in your kit. Um, make sure that you're comfortable with it. Make sure that you understand how it works, where your gear is and cannot stress the importance of medical supplies and medical knowledge. Uh, we don't talk about that nearly as much as we should in the gun community because, well, guns are fun and who really wants to sit through first aid, right? But it's a very important skill to have. Uh, you're more likely to need the medical skills than you are the tactical gear. So just keep everything in perspective, be well-rounded. As always, if you want to know more, you want us to help you get set up, come see us here at Mountain Man Armory, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we'll do our best to get you squared away. All right, stay safe, train hard. I'll see you guys next time.